Before we add our next sprite, we want to make sure that our cake hides when it receives the miss message. So inside of the cake code, we're going to grab in the event section when I receive and change this to miss. And when I receive miss, I'm going to tell the cake to hide. So go to the look section and grab the hide block. And now we can add our next sprite. So I'll click choose a sprite, and I'm going to choose a basketball. And I'll make sure to move the sprite where I want it to be. And then I'll choose the backdrop. So I'll click stage, click backdrops, and at the bottom, click Choose a Backdrop. For this one, I'll use Basketball 1. And you'll see that it gets added to the list of backdrops. Now, inside of our code, we'll click Code at the top. Make sure you click the basketball to make sure that we're coding inside of this sprite. And in the Events section, we'll use When Green Flag Clicked. And in the look section, we'll have it hide. Just like our other sprites, we only want it to show up when we have this backdrop up. And in the event section, we want to use when I receive, and we'll change this to miss. And when I receive miss, I want this sprite to show up. So go to the Look section, scroll down, and find the Show block. And then we'll stay in the Look section and find Switch Backdrop 2. And make sure you choose the correct backdrop. I'll choose Basketball 1. For the basketball, I want it to move up and down. So in the Control section, I'm going to use the Repeat block. And in the Motion section, I'll use the change y by 10 block. This causes my sprite to go up. And then the control section, I'll grab a wait one second block and make sure that's also inside of the repeat block. To make the basketball come down, I'm going to use the motion blocks and use the same change y by 10 block after the wait one second. But this time, I'm going to change the 10 to minus 10. This makes my ball go up and then go down. And now I'm ready to finish my time capsule. So I'll go back to the character. And at the bottom of my code, I'm going to broadcast one more message. In the event section, I will use the broadcast block. And I'll add a new message called Dear Kids. Click OK. Before I add the rest of my code, I want to go back to the basketball and add in from the events section when I receive Dear Kids. Make sure you select Dear Kids from the menu. I want this to hide. So in the Look section, I'll find the Hide block. And now I'll go back to my character. And I'll switch the backdrop to the first one I used. So in the Look section, use the Switch Backdrop 2. And in the menu, we'll change this to your first one. Mine was Bedroom 1. And now I'll use my last writing prompt, Dear Other Kids in 2020, to finish off my time capsule. So in the Look section, grab a Say Hello for two seconds. Change this text to fill in your writing prompt. And add as many say hello for two second blocks as you need to finish your time capsule. So I'll add one more. And for this block, you want to add some advice for the other kids in 2020. In my time capsule, I'm going to say, 
I recommend you do at least one thing that makes you really happy every day. And I'll add a one more say hello for two seconds block to finish my time capsule. To end my time capsule, I'm going to say, I can't wait to go back to school and see everyone again. And that's my completed time capsule. Don't forget to click the green flag to test yours out. And I can't wait to see all of yours.